welcome back to Mom Before Life. My name is Trina, and today, girl, tell me why I'm looking like a straight up 90s mom. You can't tell me I don't look like I don't vlog on one of those little TV shows. Okay, I wanted to wear one of my little vintage jackets today, and then I had this 50 cent shirt that I got from Dirt Cheap that I thought matched really well with it. The earrings don't go that well with it, but they're the first thing I grabbed going out the door. So, it is what it is, but, um... These kids got me running around this morning, y'all. So, normally, y'all know on Fridays, I always go out to eat with Asante. Not go out to eat with him, but I go get some food, bring it to my baby, and we have lunch together. Well, today, Contrell is having a Latin America, like a fiesta. Um, I had to go work this morning. And so, I am running a little bit behind on grabbing his food. I was supposed to be there at 11 and take off at... Let me see, take off at 11 10, and I am just now dropping off his food at 11 20, which the restaurant is close to his school. But you know, Sante, oh gosh, look at all the children. Go, let me get out of here. All right, so I dropped off Kentrell's food. I'm about 15 minutes away from Asante, and guess what? It is 11 27. <laughs> Sante's, Sante's lunch started at 11.25. I did not plan this as I should have, but he told me, because I told him I might be late. He was like, I don't care. Are you still coming? Are you still coming? Even if you're late, are you still coming? So I told him, yeah. But tell me why. So I said, if I don't have food, right? It was, I was like, if I don't have food and I'm late, do you want me to come? He was like, no. Nah. <laughs> He was like, nah, you ain't got work. <laughs> if you don't have the food and you late, like, we good. Also, Imari started his homeschooling classes. So, he has to do four hours a day and complete 20, 20 assignments every day. Four, no, uh, four classes and five assignments per class every single day. So, uh, that's what we've been working on. Two of the classes do not work. Yesterday was his first day of, you know, homeschooling. So, I do have to reach out to his teacher um, and ask him what's going on because we trying to, you know, get it done. I do feel like I've been trying to make it very uncomfortable for him because, to be quite honest, if I was a kid, I'd be fine with being expelled. I'm not going to lie to you. Now, I would never say that to my kids, but outside of the social aspect of going to school, his schooling has gone from seven classes or six classes to only so now he only has four and he only has four hours of schooling and that's in comparison to the basically seven hours that they'd have to that he would have to be in school if he was in regular schooling so i just like i said i don't want this to be a comfortable thing for him like i don't allow him to get on any electronics or anything until his brothers get back from school so it's not like he gets to watch his tv all day or he gets to just relax and sleep all day like no he's up doing stuff because i don't know i feel like the punishment is just not good enough as far as like which kind of makes it it's, it's kind of like a double-edged sword, to be quite honest. Because on one hand, it's like, I don't want to punish him too bad because it wasn't like he went... It wasn't like he got expelled for punching a teacher like a student did last week. Like, in that case, obviously, like, maybe it's time to lay down a hammer. But at the same time, same result. So, I can't go too easy on him. But we've already talked about this, so I won't be keep... I won't keep repeating myself, but I did want to update y'all on how... Mr. Mari doing, but we about to rush to Asante, and hopefully he went to lunch late, or I don't know, y'all. I'm hoping that I can get to my boy and, you know, have a decent amount of time to eat with him. Um, even if it's just 15, 20 minutes, I'll be all right, but I will see y'all when we get there. How's your day going? Good. 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 Mm. Cause that's part of soccer. Okay. You gotta tap on them. Okay. Like, not with your hands, but like you gotta slide. I could have did that. Somewhere. You gotta juke them a little bit. Yeah, but I was juking them. Bro. You juking everybody. But I had a whole bunch of girls on team, right? No mercy, I, huh? I, I carried them. Oh, you carried I the played, whole team, I huh? I played less than ten seconds, bro. They was losing. I brought them all the way up. I scored like five touchdowns Ooh. under ten minutes, bro. 
And then the what? teachers, and then the the teachers was like, you gotta let them get a chance. Mm, to to let them get a chance to what? Score. Absolutely and not. Still, that is not how you win. Were you playing to win or were you playing to have fun? Playing to win. And then then it, then it ain't no such thing as letting them get a chance. Did you tell her? Say I'm, I'm playing to win right now. <laughs> So she tell her, I'm playing to win right now. I'll play for fun after I beat him. <laughs> but you had a good day at school. Yep. I'm glad to hear. You so handsome. Oh, I got my picture. Can I see it, please? It's in my backpack. Where is Oh, it's at home right now. Yeah. Dang it. Make sure you uh, show it to me. Um, okay. All right. Go have you some fun. Love you. Love you. Oh, here, want to open the door real quick? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Give me a hand. I'll give you kisses. I love you. Who we y'all? It is. I ain't gonna say it's hot. It's not necessarily hot. It's just the sun is out. The sun is out, which I'm grateful for because it's starting to get cold. Like at night, I wanna say it get like to like 40 something, which is cold for me. That's cold. But um, y'all, the day that went by. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to cook for dinner. I think I'm going to do some fried catfish for control and me, y'all. And I don't know what I'm going to do for the other ones. No, I'm going to do some with some chicken because I got some uh, skinless, boneless thighs from the store the other day. So I can cook those up because it's just enough in a pack for him, for them. And maybe like one last so one. this is what I had cooked that night. It's some blackened fish with some stir fry and some fried zucchini. Y'all, it was so good. I am getting better at making the blackened fish. It's not hard at all. It's just, I don't know. Sometimes I don't want my pictures. I want my food to look like the pictures. So I do act a little bit like a perfectionist. Either way, it was good. Um, I'm definitely going to get more fish next time because, honey, I wanted me a little piece. But my baby ate all four pieces. My baby ate all four pieces but he allowed me to get a little pinch off of one of the pieces so i at least could taste what it well you know see what it tastes like but i did get some veggies um i'm not gonna lie i'm actually a little inspired on making my place like this going forward because i am trying to lose weight and just having the two veggie options with a meat i think that's still very healthy without all the extra carbs and stuff that's what i'm trying to cut i'm trying to cut my carbs trying to cut my sugars but yeah y'all thank you guys so much for watching my video i appreciate it please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and leave your girl a comment too don't let me just be talking to myself in the comments but i'll see you guys later bye